So I've given you a lot of information in this video series that I hope you have found interesting and valuable. But if you're still not convinced, I'm the guy to help guide you or your hockey player to a higher level when it comes to your stick skills, then let me give you my hockey resume in less than two minutes and see if it changes anything. So here we go. I grew up playing youth hockey in Minnesota and worked my way up through the levels, finishing up at Cooper High School. Earned a Division I scholarship and played four years at the University of Minnesota. I had a 12-year professional career where I played in 393 NHL games with the Ottawa Senators and Florida Panthers. But what most people don't know is that I was 27 years old when I played my first NHL game. So I guess I was a late bloomer and wouldn't go away. Six out of the 12 years I played, I ran a summer hockey school called Lance Pitlick's Hockey Skill Development School. In 2002, I began a 17-year youth hockey coaching career, spanning every level, eight years at Mites, a few years each at both Pee Wee and Bantams, finishing at the high school level. I ended my coaching career as a USA Hockey Level 5 Master Coach. In 2003, I developed my first hockey training aid called the Sweet Hand Stick Handling Trainer. Started a company that eventually was named Sniper's Edge Hockey, which is one of the world's leaders in at-home training space creations. The company has recently been sold. In 2007, I started to experiment with different stick handling concepts, began categorizing drills, creating lesson plans, and in 2010, started training players at my facility here in Minnesota, and also now do virtual lessons. Around the same time, I launched my third business, which was the first of its kind, an online at-home stick skills course called Online Stick Handling. The name has since changed to online hockey training, and I continue to this day to add to the drill database when a new idea presents itself. Yes, I'm kind of a mad scientist because the stick and puck occupy my mind constantly. But more importantly, my journey rides on one premise, offering a proven path that any player can follow in order to reach a higher level of stick skill development. My wife calls it a sickness, but I'm still holding on to the passion part of it. Please proceed to the final video in this series.